Hello everybody, welcome back to this channel. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Kaylee and I review anime figurettes and I also explore Akihabara as well. And speaking of Akihabara, we are going to explore Don Quixote today by popular request. Don Quixote is considered an everything store in Japan. They have so many different things, so many different items from anime stuff to household stuff as well as clothes. Just to let you all know, Don Quixotes are found everywhere in every major city in Japan. But for today, we will be exploring it here. So why don't we go take a look right now? So, let's go. Our first part of Don Quixote we're going to take a look at. If you are a Pokemon lover, just like myself, they do have Pokemon cards here. Japanese Pokemon cards, actually. These are about 720 yen. So in USD, that would be $4.78. So really cheap pricing for these kinds of cards. I actually um, collected Pokemon cards when I was back in America. Currently don't collect them now anymore, but this is kind of very nostalgic for me. So, really good item here. So let's go take a look at some other stuff as well. All right, so now we are at the clothing part of Don Quixote, which they have a lot of different interesting items, especially for men and women. What really caught my attention was the Dragon Ball boxers here, which I think is so cute. So we got these green ones where we have Goku. We also have the Dragon Ball and the dragons on them as well. So for one pair, it's about 1,290 yen, which is about $8.57. But if you actually get two of them, they're about 2,000 yen. And 2,000 yen is equivalent to $13.29 actually, which I think is a pretty good deal for two boxers. Um, I won't get them, but for all of you Dragon Ball fans that would like to get them, I would definitely recommend these as well. They also have other boxers too for other animes as well. So probably on this side, let's take a look. Yes, they also have a Disney section too. So we have Deadpool boxers. We got Mario boxers, not Disney, but still interesting. Baymax boxers, Toy Story boxers. We also have Looney Tunes boxers too. Ah, <laughs> that's so funny. We also have Minion boxers. <laughs> That's hysterical, that's so funny. Same price as the Dragon Ball one. So like I mentioned before, one pair is 1,290 yen. But if you get another pair for two, 2,000 yen. So really good price. I really think that pretty good deal, honestly. Let's take a look a little bit more as well. So this definitely caught my attention. If we look over here, we got two gigantic figurine sets of Evangelion characters. We got As Asuka and we also got Rei, uh, two of the most popular characters from Evangelion. And also, I think the most expensive one I've seen so far for figurines as well. Both of them cost 24,545 yen in American dollars. Let me tell you how much that is in American dollars. That would be about $163.19 for these two figurines. Like if you had to choose one, you're spending over $100 for that. Tell me, which one would you get the most? If you had the money and you could get either one, just one, who would you get the most? Would you get Asuka or would you get Rei? Um, in my opinion, I would definitely get Asuka, but please let me know in the comments section and then we can definitely talk about that too. But I think that was just very interesting, wanted to show you guys that. So let's take a look at the other figurine sets as well too. We got definitely many different sections, many different animes as well. 
So not categorized by certain animes, but just kind of like randomized too. Now if we look over here actually, this is also a very interesting area. So we have all these figurines here, different animes as well. We have ones from Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia, Haikyuu, Chainsaw Man as well too. If we take a look here, there's different pricings for them. So if you wanted this figurine set, just take it to the counter and then they will give it to you, it seems like. So I do not have the money to buy this today, so I cannot show you. Well, not just the figurines and also all the other uh, accessories and also stuff that you can collect, but we also have some clothing as well, such as the boxers. We have these lovely shirts here as well. So one of these shirts, I think the most popular ones so far are these kinds of shirts. So these anime shirts. This one is from Love Live. I have not seen this anime. I haven't seen this one either. That one is Naruto over here. Uh, another Naruto one as well. And there's also, I don't know what this anime is. I apologize, everyone. So from what I can understand, these, all these shirts cost about 3,500 yen. And in American dollars, if you wanted to buy one shirt, just one shirt, that would be about $23.26. So I think that's a pretty good deal for one of these shirts. A little bit pricey, but honestly, I think this Naruto Shippuden shirt, I think that looks really nice. Uh, I especially love this one, honestly. I don't know which one I would pick more. I would probably pick this one, actually. This one's really cool with Sasuke and Naruto. Alright everyone, so now let's take a look at some ramen as well. Also very famous in Japan. Let's take a look at these prices as well. So we have here, the first one, looks like a Pokemon noodle ramen. So it's like really cute. This is 169 yen. So in US dollars, that should be $1.12. We have big cup of noodles as well. Also really cheap too. So this is $2.59 for just one big cup of noodles. So in American dollars, that should be about $1.72. So, so much cheaper than back in America, if I remember correctly, yes. And this is like really big. Mostly all the same prices. So you got the regular, they also come with the curry, big noodle ramen as well. Another ramen, so we also have bag ramen. So this is probably the most expensive section at the moment. This is a pack of ramen here. And for a pack of ramen, this is about 599 yen. And in US dollars, that should be $3.98. So for just almost $4, you can just get like a pack of ramen like this. What better deal is that, you know? Oh, what's this? So what I can tell is it looks like eggs in a bag. Kind of weird, honestly. I never seen this before, but this looks like eggs um, where you put inside your ramen, actually. This is about 148 yen. And in American dollars or American money, that is about 98 cents. So I think this is probably the cheapest item we have in this section for ramen. Let's go explore a little bit more, okay? Okay, so now we are back in a more Pokemon section area of Don Quixote. Pokemon is very popular in Japan. Let me see if I can find my um, favorite one. Because these are all like the plushies. The plushies are very popular in Japan. Um, oh, there is. So Eevee is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. So this Eevee, so it's 2,200 yen. Uh, before tax, actually, I need to mention that. Some of these prices are giving you is before tax. This would be about $14.62, so $14.62 for this like little, <laughs> little tiny Eevee. I don't know if it would be worth my money, but it's really cute though, so I would probably still spend it. So these plushies here are the cheapest ones. They are 1,800 yen, and that would be about 11 dollars 46 cents if I had to think in my head but definitely more cheaper than the other ones so really cute I would actually pay for these not all of them but probably pay for one of them maybe I would pay for the Pikachu I think the Pikachu is the cutest one so far all right I have found the most expensive plushie out of all like the Pokemon plushies this one is 8,000 yen 8,000 yen 
for this giant Pikachu for in USD dollars $53.17 so yep that is definitely the most expensive one in my opinion I understand the price it's very big but I think I would prefer the smaller plushies a little bit more definitely a lot cheaper and cuter and easier to carry too so let's put this one back as well and then let's take a look a little bit more on this floor All right, so for me, this is definitely the most surprising floor of Don Quixote. This is, it seems like there's a little maid theme going on right now. So we have some maid costumes as well as some accessories too. So the accessories here, we have these little headbands. So we have puppy headbands. We also have bear headbands as well and the pricing of these is 1,290 yen, which is about $8.57, so pretty good pricing for that. If we look also over here, we got so many different kinds of maid costumes as well. So we have many different maid costumes, all in different colors too. So it seems like most of these, um, especially most of these maid costumes come in different prices. But from what I could see, most of them do cost 5,990 yen. If I had to remember correctly, this is about $39.82 for one of these maid costumes. Um, if I had to pick one, I would maybe pick... You can't go wrong with blue. Blue is like one of my favorite colors, of course. But I think the only issue is this looks like it would be made for someone a little bit smaller than me. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a little bit skinnier. I'm pretty sure this would not fit me at all. I mean, I would like to try it on, but not today, honestly. Maybe another day, definitely. All right, so that was the maid section area. I hope you guys enjoyed that part. We have one more floor to go up, so let's go check that out. All right, guys, so we are now at our almost our last stop. There's two floors of these actually in Don Quixote. And this is where they have a lot of claw machine games as well. So we're gonna take a look around. I definitely do wanna try one of the claw machines as well. I don't know which one yet. Maybe something either anime, Pokemon related, or if I find something cute, then we'll figure it out. But let's take a look around here because this is also a really cool section. So the one that caught my attention was the Mario one with the mushrooms. I think it just looks really cute and I definitely think it'll be maybe a little bit easy to try. It's a big plushie, it's a big claw machine, but let's try it out. So to play, it's only about 100 yen. 100 yen is the same as 66 cents in America. So this is going to be for one try, so I'm going to try these maybe a few times and we'll see if I get lucky or not, okay? I'm sorry to myself that I couldn't get that plushie. I'm so sad. I tried three times, but if you do try multiple times, they do allow you to get it for, not free, but the staff does help you with trying to win it. This time I won't do it, but for those who are interested, definitely consider that as well. 
so that is it for today, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on my adventure into Don Quixote today. Please like and subscribe. And also, please let me know, what was your favorite part about our tour of Don Quixote? Which floor was one of your favorites? Which items, which stuff? Which one was probably the weirdest or cutest thing you've seen so far? Thank you so much again for visiting, and I will see you next time. See you. <laughs> I think that's like a Zymo. Nice. That was really funny, actually. Really funny.